Micro Machines Rescue Helicopter. It looks functional. It doesn't say anything goofy on the side. And it can be anything. Not sure what specific helicopter it is based on. The shape reminds me of an OH-6 Cayuse, including that boomerang-shaped rear stabilizer. Not really the aircraft kind of guy. I just like it how it's on these uh, pontoons with wheels. Ooh, quite the tractor for me, too. His combined shipping was automatic in the cart. So I also finally helped myself to a Vietnam era M113 armored personnel carrier. I mean these things won every battle that they were putting. Fantastic design. I think we're still using them. Hasbro. Huh. issues that I've got which is how to adequately illuminate them unless you're you're aiming spotlights at it some of these are, are going to be a little bit dark thinking about drilling holes in the top you know LED lights yeah but they gotta have a power source and uh, how are they how are they being kept on beyond the length of the show when the buyer gets it home and he decides I'm just gonna leave this switched on not so much distracted by the issue, but they're not just paintings and baskets of apples. This is like a whole different kettle of fish in, in that they're, they're physical objects. So another idea I've had would be to, to carve them, have them cut at an angle so that, you know, maybe there's, I don't know, half an inch, three quarters of an inch left at the edge, and then it would just be an angle, and that would open up the top to uh, better illumination. But, you know, I'm using all these optical effects, uh, gels, and, and iridescent colors, and they need to be lit correctly. I don't know if you can see it here, but this one in particular is kind of shimmering at us. It's, it's got layers and layers of bicaceous iron oxide, and iridescent other iridescent light interference colors they have to be lighted correctly or it's it, it, it's just going to be this box you know and another obvious thing to consider is that yeah i can work up these fantastic little little scenarios with with with, with the toy pieces related to the painting using scale the photography and low angles but when it's hanging there on the gallery wall people aren't going to be looking at it from underneath up super close those design ideas might be their own separate thing where I'm, I'm also making prints that would be derived from the the, the the setup and and the toy pieces that would be displayed next to it and that gives the person a chance to have you know have the whole idea they've got both a print and then the uh, the, the box construction that it was sourced from and Duchamp would like that idea I know that Man Ray he's utilizing photography and painting and found object art ideas in, in ways that hopefully create new ideas of how to make art I get that out of this stuff, and I hope you do too. And thanks for watching. We'll show you more. Miles and miles and miles.